lot of people move to the Upper West Side after college and there's a lot um, of Jewish people there, but there aren't programs, there isn't uh, really a Shabbos life or a community to be a part of, and JMC has filled that gap um, and created a really incredible community for us all to be a part of. There's so many people our age that are just looking for a spiritual journey or looking for a spiritual connection or looking for any connection really. So it's very important to just have a rabbi in town reaching out to the youth around us and making an impact and bringing people back to the Jewish identity. If you come to a JMC event for the first time, I think you can expect, first of all, that almost every detail has been thought of, from food to drink to location to ambiance. It combines a ritual and a tradition and an importance of Jewish community with an atmosphere that I think people in their 20s and 30s are used to and combines those two in a way that makes Judaism very accessible. Spending time together with the Kugels at their Shabbat table, it's really always a fascinating experience, meeting new people, experiencing Shabbos together with them and their children, and understanding what it's like to live in a happy family life. People coming to a JMC event can expect to be welcomed with open arms and really meet fun, young Jewish people in the community, and they can expect to have a great, fun, amazing night. I mean, what's really great is, you know, people on all ends of the spectrum, you know, whether, you know, you never go to synagogue or don't really partake in religion versus, you know, a devout religious person, you know, somehow these events really bring everyone together. When I moved to the Upper West Side, I felt almost alone, didn't know where to go, and I went to a JMC event and I felt so at home and warm and comfortable. The Rabbi and Rabbitson made me feel like I was a member of the community for a while and I became close with them ever since that. The most memorable and lasting relationship I have made through JMC is my husband Josh. Uh, we've been married almost four years and we thank JMC for that. I love Jewish Modern Connections because I feel like it's what the Upper West Side and what our community is missing. I'm always going to meet someone new, someone with a really interesting background. I think just meeting the rabbi in Rebidson has been really refreshing. Um, it's nice to meet people who are so spiritual and religious but still so relatable. Be my circus meal. It was a chance for me to be in a more intimate setting with the rabbi in Rebidson. It was just nice to actually really getting to sit around a table and talk to people and they've like always welcomed us with open arms. They accept just anyone who walks through the door. The most memorable, lasting relationship uh, we've made at the JMC event, I have to say, is our relationship. In a word, JMC is community. There's such a diverse amount of people there. You can find yourself talking about the simple things in life, and then you can find someone else to talk about deep things in life. When I learn with the rabbi, we learn a lot of foundations of Judaism. Uh, it builds a strong foundation. I, it enables me to really build on my Jewish connections. The most lasting relationship I made through Jewish Modern Connections was finding my husband. The ambiance at the Kogel Shabbat is awesome. We love going there. The food's incredible. There's amazing Tvar Torahs. We always have friends there. And best of all, we get to meet new people. Um, there is a ton of Jewish young people on the Upper West Side. It's really hard to get to know people and walk over to somebody that you don't know. What they have created on, at their house on Friday nights is a way to meet new people and get a little bit closer to those you don't know. Anyone who comes to an event wants to go to another one. It's, it's never a, a one-time shot. It's always, let me come back, when is the next event? What's the next thing I can do? The Monday Parsha, it's very fun. Everyone gets together and talks openly about the Torah and what the weekly Parsha is. And it's very unstructured, which gives people a chance to really express themselves in their spiritual journey. The learning night is wonderful. It's a unique way to experience learning Torah, having dinner, and being surrounded with friends who share common values and it's a way to just have an intellectual discourse about Judaism in a really loving environment. I would have to say my favorite JMC event is Simchat Torah. Um, it's gotten better and better every year. I think this year there were over 2,000 people, which was really amazing um, and really just a great time, you know, just celebrating together. I think JMC and Rabbi Kogel and Panchi are, are, are really unique and 
in that they are very welcoming to everyone. Um, you know, I've brought friends who, you know, have never stepped foot in a synagogue, and I've brought friends that, you know, go to synagogue every week, and, and they all feel just as comfortable. You know, they really make it a point to welcome all, no matter their religious affiliation. You know, the rabbi and country really know how to relate to people uh, on a personal level that really goes a long way. They come to one event and immediately they cling on to the organization and are, are just glad to keep attending over and over. We are so fortunate for, for um, the community that we've built, the people that we've met, the friendships that we've made. It really has been such a special, special uh, opportunity for us to be involved and to lead this great uh, organization. We love you, JMC. <laughs>